It's never a good thing when you arrive home and find water in the floor around your washing machine in the laundry room. Pulling the washer back a little bit, it was obvious there was water uh, on the wall. So we have a water leak. So I pulled the washing machine back and pulled the trim ring off from around the opening here and trying to take a little closer look at the faucets and I can see there's there's water leaking around the stem on both of the faucets uh, it doesn't appear to be coming from the actual hose bib where the where the hose connects just from around the stem and that's usually good news because it means the packing nut or the packing material might be the problem and that's a simple fix um, the water's been leaking for some time. It's caused a good bit of corrosion and gunk uh, and crud to build up here in the tray. And the water leaked out onto the wall and uh, soaked the sheetrock. So I've, uh, I've broken out some of the sheetrock here so I can see inside. And the good news is I don't see any, any water leaking inside the wall. There's no, uh, no water coming from uh, anything inside the wall. So the only damage was the sheetrock itself, which was damaged by water leaking from these hose bibs. So I've removed the hoses to give me some space to work here. And I've got my adjustable wrench, and I'm going to tighten this nut underneath the handle. That's called the packing nut. And its purpose is to compress packing material around the top of that valve and keep water from coming out around the handle, which is exactly what we were seeing. The water was not coming from the bib where the hose attaches. It was coming around the stem of the faucet. So by tightening that nut, we can compress that packing material and hopefully seal that water leak. Dry it off a little bit and uh, put the hose back on it tighten the hose back up uh, an appropriate amount not too tight but certainly not uh, loose and then we'll turn the water back on and see what happens okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on turn the the faucet all the way completely on as far as it'll go so we can put the maximum amount of pressure on the on the line to see if we're going to leak and then just kind of watch it. Uh, we're going to watch it for a minute here and see if any water appears. And I do right there see a little bit of a seep. A lot of times a seep like that will stop by itself. Um, but we'll watch it and see if we need to tighten it a little bit more. Had this not fixed it, had the water leak been coming from the bib area, that would have required us to take the, the faucet apart a little bit. Take uh, not just the packing nut here, but actually the faucet itself and replace an internal washer. Uh, it's, a, it's a very inexpensive part, less than a dollar, uh, but you do have to do a little bit more of a disassembly. But again, a very inexpensive fix if you're willing to, to, to tackle it yourself. I'm not seeing any leak here. I think this looks good. I may tighten that packing nut, nut just a little bit more uh, to deal with that seepage that we were seeing there, but I think it looks good. The seeping did continue, so I went ahead and, and tightened the packing nut just a little bit more. And you can see I'm just doing a quarter turn here, maybe a half a turn. You don't want to over tighten it because you'll squeeze the packing material out and uh, make the, the leak worse. So after just a little bit more turn, uh, a quarter turn or so, I'm going to go ahead and, and completely cycle the, the, the faucet handle, turn it all the way off and then turn it all the way on. <clears throat> Just kind of move everything into place, let it have full pressure on it, and see what happens. And I don't see any more seeping. It looks like, uh, you know, we're certainly not getting the spraying that <laughs> and the leaking that we were getting to begin with. So I, I think that's going to take care of it. Um, just simply by, ta by tightening that packing nut. Okay, same steps, cleaned it off, dried it off, now I'm going to tighten this pack. 
packing right here. I'll have to put the phone down to do that. But it's the same process, just tighten it up good and snug. Reattach the hot water hose. Take my channel locks and make sure that that's good and tight. Both faucets are on. We have no water squirting, so it looks like our problem in both cases was the packing material. The packing nut was loose, one or the other. So we'll clean this up good, pack this cheek rock hole here, and we'll be back in business. And I don't know what a plumber would have charged for that, but it would have been a lot more than just doing it yourself. Hope that helps somebody. You found it useful go ahead and click subscribe and like and i'll have more of these as more things in this old house breaks down thanks thanks for watching